Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Hope you're doing well. On my thumbnail picture today, I have a title, Keep Your Joy, and what looks like a happy couple with their dog. And I was thinking this time of year, uh, Christmas time, it should be a joyful time. And as Christians, we need to be we need to keep our joy and remember that when we said yes to Jesus, something good happened. The Holy Spirit moved in and we were given the gift of eternal life. So you could say that life is almost never going to end. And um, we know it's going to change when we leave this earth, but uh, we're going to be given an eternity in heaven, which is fantastic. And I was thinking all the things we see um, in, in the in the world at the moment, um, we turn on the news and we see um, we see people rioting, we see protests, we see um, we've got we've got the war uh, in Israel, and we see see so many things that can can potentially make us lo lose our joy. But it's important to focus on the right things. And if we look at scripture, we can uh, we can see um, the blessings of the Lord. Uh, makes one rich and adds he adds no sorrow with it in proverbs 10:22, which is um quite something to reflect on and uh, and remember and then if we look in uh philippians 4 4 it says rejoice in the lord sorry i'll re rephrase that rejoice in the joy of the lord always Again, I will say rejoice. So Paul repeated himself to, that we remember to, to, to remember to rejoice in the Lord and and remember what he's done. In then in Matthew six twenty five to thirty four, it talks about do not worry. It's so easy to focus on all the negativity around us. If we turn on the news, we see a constant flow of negative news. There's really rarely anything that's very good. It's just negativity and um, sometimes it's good to hear some good news and, for, and as I said earlier the Christian has the good news of being given the gift of eternal life and much more. Our hope isn't in this world and politicians. It's in, in, in the cross that Jesus came to give bring life and give life abundantly which is so so amazing and so something that we can be joyful for. So let's remember um, this Christmas time and not only just Christmas time to keep our joy and remember that some people may be spending time alone, old people, perhaps um, loved ones have left them and um, uh, and they, they may be just uh, facing a lonely Christmas. It's good to look out for people like that and to share some joy and maybe spend half an hour or an hour with them and um, bring a bit of joy into their home. And of course, the, the good news of Jesus, we, we are called to be disciples. And um, it's, it's such a, such a um, privilege that we have um, to be able to share joy with people and to be thankful for what um, Jesus has done. Don't let these constant topics of um, poisonous news spoil your joy. Remember the good news about Jesus. So let's just come back and look at the scriptures that we uh, that we'd looked at. And um, it, it, this is Proverbs Proverbs ten twenty two. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Fantastic. And then John John fifteen. Uh, John 15, 15, 11. Um, th these things I have spoken to you that that my joy may remain in you and that your joy, joy may be full. Uh, make more joy, lots of joy. And then we come to Philippians 4, 4. Rejoice in the Lord always again. I say rejoice, which is um, amazing. Joy again. And then finally, and this is what I see so many Christians doing, and we all have to, um, maybe some people think we can't always be joyful, but here it's in um, Matthew 25, it says, do not worry, sorry, not Matthew 25, Matthew 6, 25. Um, it says, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the food more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they do not do not sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they are? Why are you worrying? 
which sorry which of you by worrying can add one cubit of his stature and it's, we have to remember what Jesus has done for us on the cross and uh, our worrying won't change anything but believing in the one who died for us um, can change everything so let's keep the joy of the Lord and spread the good news with the people and remember it's that time of year but let's keep the joy going not only for Christmas but um, for the rest of our lives and be a witness to those around us maybe you're watching this today and you're not a Christian and uh, 26 years ago I said this prayer and um, basically Jesus came to give life he came to give life abundantly and to set the captives free and um, I'm thankful that Jesus died on the cross so we can have eternal life and if we say that we believe in him and we genuinely mean it it means we can be given the gift of eternal life and uh, this prayer here if you'd like to say oh, after me if you're not a Christian which reads dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour of my life I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen now if you said that prayer and you really meant it it means you have been born again and it means you have been given the gift of eternal life and uh, here you can see I was reading from the Bible Gateway there's many other places and applications you can use um, apps on your phone etc and uh, it's also good if you can find a good church to join and a small group but make sure you get in a church that preaches the full gospel message not a watered down message but a strong gospel message the, the, the Bible is truth and there are people that are trying to take truth out of that just for their own selfish ways but we only want the truth if you've got any questions I'm here to help thanks very much for watching